What is going on guys? This is Black and Android HD and today I'm proud to present you a tutorial on how to flash the f an official um, Lollipop TouchWiz ROM for Samsung Galaxy S4. That's right. You heard it right. So um, this is an Eco ROM. It was ported uh, from a Chinese uh, variant so it it uh, has some bugs but uh, it's a step forward it's the first touch with uh, lollipop rom that uh, was released for the samsung galaxy s4 so and we're gonna be we're gonna be flashing uh, it right now so before of any 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 steps uh, you will have to make an android backup of your current rom just to make sure you have a a backup uh, backup plan in case of something goes wrong with uh, this uh, with this RAM, the official Lollipop TouchWiz RAM. Um, right now it's wiping data. I'm uh, a little bit uh, having some problems with uh, the memory of my DSLR, so I'll have to to cut some scenes of this video because I haven't got so much space on my 8 gig uh, SD card but um, we're gonna get in the proper flashing right now I don't know if it uh, has a ROM installer I haven't checked that on a, in a thread, an official thread um, so yeah it's all it, uh, wipe, wiping is a must so wipe your data before flashing let's see the file it's called uh, yeah it's called project s4 let me focus so it's this file project s4 dodx moded you sorry not this one i'll tell in the description with this ram the download link yes and right now as you may see it says opening update package don't think it has an ram installer no it hasn't so it says S4 Eco Experimental on Official Chinese Lollipop. So it it isn't exactly an official base as I mentioned earlier, but it is kind of kind of um, an original, let's say like that, an original TouchWiz Samsung TouchWiz base based on uh, Android L. So the main bug of this of this port is that um, the Wi-Fi isn't working at all. And we're gonna be discussing this later on after the booting up. Uh, the booting up will take up to 10 or 15 minutes because it converts the, the cache partition to to art. So you will no longer longer have Dalvi cache on your uh, on your device. So I'm gonna be getting back to you guys after we after the ROM is booted up on my Galaxy S4. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I'm back. After more than 10 minutes of booting actions, uh, the, my device is uh, running uh, Android L Lollipop from TouchWiz Samsung, from Samsung, and um, I've also mounted my S S View cover uh, to see if there is any any bugs in it. It is the clock isn't uh, actually online very very well. I thought it uh, will be a a modification in the S cover, but it isn't. Just to make sure, guys, know that um, the first thing you'll notice is that the notification bar is completely changed. Let me focus. You won't have the same stock uh, draw draw bar right here, right down to the bottom of the screen. You will just have this. If you have notification, it will show up right here. Uh, Thugles, stock Thugles, Wi-Fi isn't working as I told you. Okay, location, mobile data, and other 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 things. Um, let's get into into apps since we haven't got a lot of time. It's been a completely rebuild of uh, the apps as you may see here. Phone uh, phone app looks completely different. If you look closer, there is uh, some specific Android L animation, like the slide up and slide down opening animation. Messaging, uh, 
right now you may see the notification bar merges color merges with the top color of the app this thing you will be noticing most of the time let's see how the the call screen looks like so bluish yeah so let's call it again just to make sure you see yeah looks good um so animations smooth animations the touch with launcher has been redefined it uh, it behaves really fast as you may see animations are pretty smooth let's uh, go into settings and uh, setting apps has also been uh, remapped more you can scroll, scroll down and gonna show you that I'm running Android version 5.0.1 so it's lollipop this SV cover is a little bit shaky but I'm trying my best okay so the bill number is GTI 9000 9508 yeah bill number okay hardware, hardware versions ROM name Eco ROM so it's the Chinese lollipop experiment it was released on 22nd of January um, any other things you may see here some Eco ROM customization fix themes streaming battery mode gest gestures, gestures uh, Viper audio reboot options add away and other other things we're not gonna get into this we're gonna get into the visual changes that this uh, update brings to our Galaxy uh, Galaxy S4 as you may see here the lock screen I think is the same lock screen but as you may see beautiful beautiful um, beautiful animation while unlocking let's see different unlock options like the pattern let me make a pattern and uh, setting a pin okay so right now let's see how it looks it looks good yeah and the same uh, beautiful beautiful animation uh, display that indicator sounds and notifications let's check the notification and how it uh, looks like so we're gonna I'm gonna write myself a message so yeah it has a Chinese keyboard so Jesus this is hard yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna tie my 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 number separately Jesus it's hard Chinese keyboards are fucked up yeah, really okay so yeah we're gonna say hello yes hello and we're gonna send it to, just to see the notifi notification appears so this is the notification as I told you, you can call and reply, but let's see the lock screen notification, if it appears right here, yes, it appears right here, so, hello, you may click, then unlock, and uh, you'll see the message, very, very nice and smooth, um, I'm running out of space, but I'm trying my best to show you guys all the, all the things, so the camera hasn't changed the uh, the design of the camera actually so the gallery let's get into the gallery and see if I have got any 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 yeah let's see the as you may see the gallery also has been remapped rethemed voice recall calculator let's see what about calculator yeah it's it's uh, using the default uh, Android Dell colors my files voice recorder yeah it looks a little bit uh, more minimalistic Settings I told I showed you before, they it's working, it's a uh, moving barley smooth. I don't think you, you can scroll down from left to right, but you can browse these uh, tags right, right on the top of the app. So S beam NFC, I think NFC is working, but I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, well, uh, Wi-Fi isn't working, but uh, Friedrich, the, the developer of this ROM, told uh, told us that uh, he's gonna find uh, the bug and uh, he's gonna fix it. Logs, contact, messaging, email, internet. Um, we're not gonna browse anything. Video. Yes, it's also been uh, remapped, rethemed. Music, music app. Let's let's see how it looks. 
let's uh, for example play play one track but one that uh, isn't uh, isn't copyrighted by by YouTube let's let's find one so I guess uh, oh foo -foo. I can find really unknown song but uh, yeah we're gonna play this in the digit audio okay so here's like the album art and the the widget okay if you unlock the screen you'll see here the notification notification uh, music notification icon and the uh, settings S Health Group Play Galaxy Essentials Auto Navi yeah trim it battery settings as you may see you can customize your your battery with more than 1000 batteries icons kids mode uh, super user this ROM is rooted is uh, already rooted Viper for Android and um, yeah that's uh, that's it so to give you a general general opinion about this ROM it is uh, it's a step forward from Samsung uh, since it's a stock one diodexid ROM, it uh, r moves and behaves really fast. You can feel the art instead of Dolby Cache. I honestly tell you, you may see from a 60 frames per second video from this video that animations are running very smooth. Let's see the recent toggles. Yes, there's a little bit of lag right here, but not such a big deal. Yeah, you open the app and nice, nice again, nice, nice, nice animation. Let's see if we have the yeah how much RAM does it eat so about 140 of 180 gig not such a big deal since it's a port early release we're gonna be waiting uh, Samsung for to release the official really official full firmware for Galaxy S4 uh, as you can see here you have the carrier, carrier text provider and uh, yeah, right now you can slide up to get to your camera directly. Okay, get back into lock screen. Um, yeah, nice and smooth animations. So this was the review, guys. I have to end up uh, this uh, review sooner because overview actually because I'm running out of space on my DSLR camera. So I hope you like this. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So you'll be updated with the latest Android news. Blackland Android, guys, is out. Bye-bye.